All right, so now we're moving on to the cut DC golf ball. My overall negative feel with the cut golf ball, one was the consistency off the driver, but I think if I were to play it a ton, I would get used to the ball flight of the golf ball. Um, but just compared to the Titus Pro V1, the Titus Pro V1 was very consistent off the driver, and I was just very accurate with the Titus Pro V1. So I gave the cut golf ball a seven out of 10 off the driver. It did have the distance, it just lacked kind of the control there. You know, the cover test gets a uh, six and a half because I played a whole round with it. And I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll try to get it in focus there. All right, you guys can see it at the top there. So it did start to chip at the end of the round there. So I do like the golf ball still, it's a solid golf ball, but the, it did start to chip at the end. So the cover test, you know, 6.7, you know, it was a full round of golf. Um, I didn't hit it in, you know, any trees or in the car path at all. It did start to wear out. That does worry me a little bit, especially compared to the Titus Pro V1. So not the best with the cover test. I already went over the grip and rip it um, portion, but, you know, for me, the grip and rip it portion for the cut golf ball, it was, you know, the same length about for the Titus Pro V1 for the cut golf ball. The only problem with the cut golf ball was kind of consistency off the tee going straight. The Titus Pro V1, I was piping it down the fairway. Where the cut golf ball is a little bit more inconsistent. I do think if I had played the golf, the cut golf ball a little bit more, I would have been used to kind of how the golf ball reacts off the driver. I would have been able to place my tees a little bit better or my drives a little bit better. So, you know, it definitely is a minus, but I'll give it a seven. Um, we get into this, uh, the iron test. You know, it was pretty fine off the iron. I think it was pretty much the exact same golf ball that the probably won. So we'll give it a nine out of 10 to four the iron test. Um, then the wedge test. The wedge test, uh, you guys saw it. On the first series of shots, I uh, I wasn't used to how much, how hard I had to hit it with the wedge. But then on the second hole, I was used to how hard I had to hit it with the wedge. Gave it a little bit more oomph, got it there. And, you know, it really responded well with the wedge game there. So I'll give that an 8.5. I do not like the sound off the wedge. That's kind of my only critique of the cut golf ball is kind of the feel of it. You guys saw me with the putter. It was slapping off the putter. So for the putter test, I got to give it a 7.5 out of 10. But overall, I will say the putts were great. Almost probably better than the Tides Pro V1. So I'm not sure how much of a factor, you know, the sound is for you guys or the feel of it. Because at the end of the day, it just matters about results. And at the end of the day, you guys saw, I believe with both of them, at the end of the day, you just got to hit your shots. Um, very solid golf ball. I do love this golf ball. I will say this golf ball, the DC golf ball is $30, okay? $30. Cut Golf made their name by having value golf balls that were just as good as other golf balls. So $30 for this when I can get Titus Pro V1 for, you know, about $10 more or so. Ah, it's tough. It's tougher. There's other quality golf balls out there that we'll be testing that are in this $30 price point range that we can commit to a little bit more. But let's cut it open. Let's see what's inside. Let's see the consistency factor there. All right, so the smell test, nine out of 10, exact same smell as the Tides Pro V1. But these golf balls look very similar. So we got the cut golf ball here, you guys can see. You know, very. So that's the cut golf ball there. We'll compare it to the Tides Pro V1 here. All right, so as you guys can see, Pretty much the same insides you'll see that the cut golf ball has a little bit bigger inner mantle there um i think that's why i like the long irons a little bit more and i think that's why the Tyler's probably one is a little bit better close range for me feel wise not exactly sure on that but i you know i think that's why i like this golf ball a little bit better but overall they're pretty much the same golf ball it is a fine golf ball perfectly fine with it and that's it that's the cut golf ball review all right, guys, so what you just saw is going to be a weekly thing. I'm going to be doing highlight videos and also what's inside the golf ball, doing the grades breakdown. It'll be a two-part video. One will be kind of just breaking down the shot performances of it, doing the test on site, and then we'll come back in the labs here, the lab, <laughs> and we'll uh, see what's inside, and then we'll do a kind of an overall grade breakdown. And at the end of this kind of series of 2020, we'll give you guys the best performing golf ball in 2020. So stay tuned. Should be a good month. Oh, and in the comment section below, let me know what golf ball you guys want to see next, and I'll try to make that happen for you relatively quickly. So 
I'll be happy to help you guys out. Let's do it. Nine to five sports. Finn Dawson. We out.